Good day, welcome to King Wilmer's Everything. Take a look at the Asus Tinkerboard Android. I believe uh, Asus came out with a new version of it. So let's take a look, see if we can see it and find it out there. So we'll go to MrAsus.coms. Let's do a little search for Asus Tinkerboard. And there's Mr. Tinkerboard. And they got their stuff hidden. Uh, so you go under support and it's under drivers and tools and if you select OS and I think just others is the only one that I've ever seen and there it is so it looks like we got version 13.11.0.5 as of 8.18 which is today so a nice little Friday surprise as you can see it's Tinker OS let's click on this and see what kind of neat features it's showing up uh, let's see, number one, uh, remove unnecessary mounted internal SD, unnecessary wipe. Um, and number two is update Bluetooth firmware, that's kind of cool. Uh, number three, SE Linux fix Ethernet change, Ethernet uh, IRQ, uh, SN, uh, Affinity, so it looks like some uh, priorities to the processor using the Ethernet. Uh, recovery storage, external SD support, um, and the FT5406, which is, I believe it's a chip for a display driver, or actually a touchpad, touch driver, uh, display add tinker board default wallpaper, ooh, uh, video remove, uh, format for media profile, HDMI fix build, uh, HW composer break, HDMI Fix sprite lag when we're setting uh, to 1080p. Looks kind of cool. Looks like a lot of uh, um, video fixes in this in this build. Uh, number 10. Uh, read the, the system on chip uh, serial number from the eFuse. Uh, add. Uh, let's see. The add FT506 touch driver. So that's the touch driver. Uh, for number five, which is. So I guess it looks like so I can identify it, and that's the driver. Uh, number 12, display support boot logo on HDMI screen. Number 30, HDMI skip 50 hertz, 60 hertz settings of ooh, 4K. HDMI auto set biggest resolution. Uh, Asus Throck chip uh, fixed bug, failed to lock. Apple and 16, okay. Da, da, da. Display get default HDMI panel. Info at U-Boot phase. And number 17, display enable Asus panel at boot phase. Video add media codec for Tinkerboard. That's kind of nice. Video modify my settings. Number 20, video update at uh, Arcade Media Library. Hmm. So kind of from what I'm seeing here, it looks like a lot of video fixes. Uh, nothing super spectacular. But that's all right. It's kind of nice to see uh, Asus, uh, uh, especially the the Android one. I know the Tinkerboard 1.9 came out not too long ago uh, for the Tinker OS, but this is the Android. So I've been using uh, the previous Android that they released, and uh, it's gonna be nice if they could put the Google Play on here by default uh, to hack it on. And that really Google doesn't support it, so it eventually flakes out. Be nice if they could integrate that into here. Uh, you can get it to install, and I got it to work for quite a while, but uh, you'll, you will have issues with it because it's just not, I think it's just not a vendor uh, approved, and it kind of knows that after a while because I've had mine working for quite a while, and then finally if it, it would update uh, Google Play. It updated several times, and it worked fine. All of a sudden, the last update seems like it broke it, uh, and, you know, if you want to do any kind of uh, uh, Google Play Store apps, or basically most apps are in the Google Play Store, uh, you'll need Google Google Play, but without Google Play, uh, you launch the app and it goes, "Hey, I need Google Play." It won't launch, so you know, like you want to watch ABC or CBS or any of those things, uh, uh, Tubi TV, no Google Play, app does not work. The same with all the Google apps, like Google Maps and all that stuff. You have to have Google Play, but uh, but it is nice to see that they are updating this and doing fixes. So this kind of looks like it's some fixes are pretty much mostly all fixes. Some little niceties, and uh, I'm gonna give this a download, give it an install, 
we'll do a video showing the, the newer version. Uh, I don't know if you really see any, any difference visually, but you know, I'm sure the bug fixes probably help certain situations. But like I said, it was really nice to see Asus uh, continuing uh, updating this. So uh, we'll do another video and download it, take a look at it.